It is the 30th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start off on SOT.net. Earthquake rocks North Philippines, no damages. Uh, apparently we had a 6.0 earthquake shock. Shook the capital and parts of northern Philippines. There are no immediate reports of damages or injuries. Four villages evacuated as volcano begins to erupt in Ecuador. And I reported on this volcano erupting last night. U.S. Alabama gets first November snow in 35 years. And this is that Lando Kane. Um, Connie Art's been talking about or this big system, this big cold system uh, that's rolling up the East Coast right now. And that's all they have new tonight. Um, over to the RSOE, of course, uh, the Ecuador volcano, the Colombian up, uh, volcano alert. Um, of course, the drought in Mexico, uh, it's basically turning into a desert. Uh, forest fires in Australia, still up on the grid. Um, Malaysia is reporting a storm surge event. Uh, one house was completely destroyed. Uh, severe wind storms, that kind of thing. Uh, we had an explosion today in Iran. Um, some unnamed nuclear facility. Uh, now, according to the RSOE, uh, they're saying this is not an accident. And they're showing uh, satellite images from above uh, of smoke and all the damage done to this facility. Uh, the Iranians are denying that it happened, and uh, the drums of war beat on. So uh, definitely heads up on what's going on in the Middle East right now. Uh, got flash flooding in Scotland, Scotland-wide. Uh, apparently the rain and flooding is so severe, uh, the police officers are ordering people not to go onto the roads. They may be subject to fine and or arrest if they're caught out and about uh, during this emergency. Extreme weather in Saudi Arabia and the capital of the city. Um, they're saying they had some extreme uh, rain and flooding and the temperature dipped down to like 9 degrees Celsius and everybody's uh, shivering. They're saying the low can get down to like 4 Celsius. So they got a severe cold front down in there. They're expecting more rain throughout the week. And uh, they basically told everybody to get ready for a very cold or, uh, winter for them. Uh, extreme weather in Heaton Moor, England, in Stockport. Uh, apparently they had a uh, tornado touchdown. Apparently one lady was taken to the hospital. Uh, they described it as the sky turning black and uh, they could see the wind swirling. And uh, rolled down the street and all the car alarms went off and stuff. It was just one big mess. They never seen anything like it, they said. Uh, sounded to me like a, a small tornado, probably an F1 or an F0. <clears throat> and um, of course the flooding continues in uh, South Wales, uh, Australia. Uh, they also got a, a story out on environmental pollution in Japan. Uh, they're just now catching up with the contaminated rice story. <coughs> um, that uh, they detected out of the Fukushima farms and uh, they're on top of that obviously uh, over to the nuclear stuff might as well we're already here uh, e, e news tonight government panel now studying whether aging played a factor in Fukushima meltdowns reveals steel in Japan's reactor weaker than estimated and they have a video on that Japan TV truly terrible things emerged several years after the accident at Chernobyl 7,800 times more childhood thyroid cancer than average in town 70 kilometers away. The IAEA exposed, and they have a video. 2008. Obama chief political strategist David Axelrod worked for Exelon, largest nuclear power plant owner in the United, in the United States. NEI chairman is Obama donor. So there we go as far as as our connection between politics and the nuclear industry. Cobalt 60 cesium-137 found by Taiwan researcher on Orchid Island. Cesium-137 exceeds government limit, yet report says it does not. And finally, Kodo 
uh, you, engineer, disposing of contaminated soil would surpass the capacity of all disposal sites in Japan. They don't know where to put this stuff, and they're dumping it into the Pacific Ocean. Um, yeah, of course, that is about, wait, 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 I'm going to go over to the S uh, EXSKF site, uh, that blog site, um, in line with the, the contaminated rice. Japan's Deacon Bubble. This is the way they'll decontaminate the orchards in Fukushima. Uh, and HK News has a clip that shows exactly the same decon method but without any tarp to at least shield the soil from radioactive materials being sprayed down. They're taking power washers to the fruit trees uh, with tarps underneath and they're going to claim them decontaminated and ready for public consumption. Uh, this is advanced technology de decontamination, as per Minister Hosano, will be used by 600 fruit orchards in three municipalities in Fukushima uh, starting in the middle of December, and the fruit farmers themselves will get to do the decon job. Uh, and he says, I know it will be a heavy burden on the fruit farmers, but in order to deliver safe, safe fruits to customers, we need to de decontamination as soon as possible. We want to finish it as soon as possible. Hurry up and spray it down, boys. And this guy comments, um, no thank you. And what's the point of power washing the radioactive materials off the trees and into the ground so that the roots can absorb? Has Fukushima Prefecture done any study to show that this power washing method is effective? very good questions. So that is about it for my report tonight. I know there's not like a lot going on today. Uh, this officially being Wednesday, November 30th, 2011. I will be at Occupied Des Moines today. I plan on arriving around 12 p.m. local time. I'm going to go ahead and hang out all day and get some interviews with the folks and uh, find out what's going on down there. I plan on staying for the meeting tonight. Or, yeah, it will be tonight. And, um, so I should be there probably from noon to 8 p.m. ish. Um, if you feel um, and you're local, come down and see me. Uh, you don't have to be supportive. I am supporting their right to free speech and free expression. So I'm going to definitely go down and uh, video and find out what's going on down there. Uh, if you're watching from Occupy, I'll see you tomorrow or I'll see you today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Have fun.